Now, one more thing which we have not discussed till now that when I talk about this self excited machine, a self excited machine is driven by a prime mover. And here my brushes are there. From these brushes, my external leads are going and they are connected to the load. This is the long picture of the generator when I talk about the generator. <coughs> This is particularly about the self excited generators. In the self separately excited generator, the flux phi is coming out from a separate DC source, but when it comes to self excited machines, when it comes to self excited machines, if I say when prime mover is moving this rotor and the my poles are here since there is no flux there is no eg and there if there is no eg there is no vt there is no vt and load is there no current is there. So, how to start a self starting motor or self starting generator exactly? If there is no flux in this pole, no, there is no interaction with uh, the uh, uh, conductor, even the conductor is moving, uh, there will not be any current. And if the current is not there, then this external current will not flow. I which will not be there if this, these poles are not energized. So how a self-excited machine is started? So the answer is that there should be some residual magnetism in that. What is called residual magnetism? Residual magnetism the magnetism um, which is left in the pole when we want to have the excitation. Uh, as soon as we start the motor or generator, particularly generator we are talking about right now, as soon as we start the generator, if the residual magnetism is not there, then flux will not be there. If the flux is not there, again the EG will not be there. If the EG is not there, no terminal voltage, no current I, no uh, nothing would be there. So prime mover will keep on rotating this. rotor but there will not be any output in the external circuit so the there is a very important thing which is called as uh, the residual magnetism so residual magnetism very very important so what is residual magnetism Some generators are failure to start, failure to build up. What are the condition that the shunt motor or shunt generator is starts properly? The condition for uh, failure to build up is R. Uh, first is your there should be some residual magnetism. <coughs> the field coils should be properly 
connected to the poles so that they will not destroy the procedural magnetism. Yeah, if you see the characteristics of the OCC characteristics, you might see that rather than they are starting from here at the, this point, they are starting somewhere from here. This point is the residual magnetism point where we need to have the residual magnetism in self exciting machines. For separately excited, it's not required. The separately excited, excited machines have the uh, flux picked up from the external source. So, even uh, when the external source is there, so we no, need not to have the residual magnetism, we need not to have the, the polarities of the uh, coils. But here, when we are talking about the self excited machines, self excited machines should have the residual magnetism. First thing, the polarity. Polarity of the field flux, uh, field winding should be like in such a way that it does not destroy the residual magnetism. And one more point is there that which is very important point now, which is to be understood for the shell generators that is built up for shell generator. You have seen that uh, uh, in, uh, we have seen uh, the op open circuit characteristics of the shell generator in which there was a single line, there was a straight line and there was uh, this drop as I said that it was a critical. Critical resistance drop. So, for shell bit up of when if excited air, yeah, open circuit, if it is excited on open circuit, the R shell, shell field winding should be less than the R critical. Critical resistance. It is a resistance which is to be overcome by a generator. So the shell field resistance should be the uh, less than the critical resistance of the generator. If it is not, then it will not build up. And if it is excited on load, if it is excited on load, then our shell should be greater than the Characters, critical resistance. <coughs> These two points are very much important regarding objective type of questions as well as uh, the subjective type of questions also. So, but objective type of questions and objective type of questions, this is a very common question that uh, what is the excitation if the for the generator if it is excited on open circuit? So, the four answers could be given to you. Uh, you have to find yes. the correct answer in open circuit is R shell should be less than R critical, and if it is excited on load, then R shell should be greater than the critical resistance. So, this is the critical resistance from which the actual line is uh, deviating because of that critical resistance, it is de deviating, otherwise, it would have been a straight line.